thanks a lot for tuning in again. Today I wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about the new Telstra 42 megabit wireless card. Um, before I do, I should explain the Mo. Uh, it is November, which is also known as Movember. Uh, Movember goes towards raising money for prostate cancer and men's depression. If you'd like to make a donation, you can go to movember.com.au. Anyway, now that I've got that out of the way, the new Telstra wireless card is available for everybody in Australia. It's pretty good. Um, there's a few things I want to cover with it. Um, first of all, I want to start with the appearance. It's big. It's pretty big compared to a traditional USB wireless card. It's actually quite large. Um, but in saying that, it's quite shiny. It looks really good. It looks the biz. Um, Initially, when I looked at it, I thought this is going to be a real issue because you generally will plug it in from the side, um, which is great. You've got the little big flap hanging out. However, um, and I mentioned this in a previous review about wireless cards, we have a lot of vertical USB ports in the organization that I work for, um, which to me was going to be a huge issue because look at this thing from the side. It's massive. Um, so that was going to be a huge concern. So having looked at that, I then found that they ship it with the extension cable, which I'm not a big fan of extension cables to begin with. Um, I don't like them, I shouldn't have to use them. However, it also comes with this little piece of plastic, which at the start I thought was just a five cent piece of equipment. However, what it's good for is it's actually a screen clip. So you can plug this little clip onto the screen and this can plug up the butt of it and you actually put the wireless card through the top. So what happens is you end up having your wireless card position right on the top of your laptop which is actually going to be great for reception and it allows you to use it if you had a vertical USB port. That was my first thoughts but then as I was playing with it I realized that they're a little smarter than that. This I thought was fixed. I thought it was that way and always that way. However it turns. It turns vertically so I don't have to use that cable anymore. I can just do it straight to the side with this little dongle. It's That made me happy because I hate using extension cords. Having said that, that's the joint, that's the fancy bit which I tend to whinge about. Um, it's That part pleased me. The back door, when you open it up, it looks the biz. I mean, it's nice, it's shiny. Um, you can see the two top, there's two antennas. Um, and a little slot for the SIM, and of course the uh, whoops, the expandable slot. Sorry, I lost the camera there. Um, the expandable slot for, for storage. Um, having the two antennas is obviously, I don't know if it's a new thing, it looks quite good to me. I mean, extra coverage is extra coverage. Um, 42 megabit. That was, to me, going to be a huge concern. I thought, there's no chance. Um, so I did a few tests. I went out and I live around 50 kilometers from, from the Sydney CBD. So obviously my biggest concern was there's no way I'm going to get anything better than my current um, Optus wireless card, which is you know the 7 megabit Optus card, which I used to get about 2 megabits from home, um, which isn't that bad. It pleased me for general internet use. It's usable. I can get what I need done. That's fine. So I plugged this in at home, um, gave it a quick test through speedtest.net. And I was achieving uh, about four megabits a second, which is which is fine. Um, it's not 42 megabit, but you know, living that far out of the CBD, I didn't really expect it to be uh, incredible. Um, but still, doubled the speed of what uh, my Optus card was, which is good. Um, I then came into the office, which is actually where I am now, um, which is about 15 kilometers from the CBD of Sydney. So I figured I'm in a pretty good spot. We're in the middle of a business park, so there's really good coverage here. There's plenty of towers. I can I can actually see one out the window now. Um, and I gave it a whirl. I was pretty blown away. I was getting 11 megabits a second, um, which which is fast. You know, that's that's songs in seconds and movies in minutes, um, which is which is really impressive um, considering it's wireless. I think if you look back, you know, a year or two ago, we we're looking at seven megabit and three megabit cards as being the be all end all. Well, this is good. This is really producing some some pace. Um, I was very impressed by that. The installation of the wireless card onto a laptop or a desktop PC if you're using it um, is very easy. Um, it doesn't ship with a CD. The installation is on the card. So you plug the card in and it just starts installing within a couple of minutes. I think it took me about four or five minutes max to install it. 
and uh, and it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It installs the application, runs really easily. It's very small, um, and it was just so simple. Uh, we have an issue where I work because people lose the CDs for their wireless cards and the, the, the download or I have to ship them a new CD. That can be a problem. However, if they've got the card, they've got the software, which means you can put it on any computer um, at any time and you can just start browsing the web, which is which is great. Um, there isn't a lot more to say about it. It is just a wireless internet card. However, this really is something. It's, it's, it's kind of impressed me. Um, I didn't expect it to be this good. Um, I'm, going to be using it for quite some time I think. 